Welcome, Anthony Mars Jr. on PR Lost Galaxy 2014 with a brand new video podcast and a post, you know, memorial video about Robin Williams. Sorry, I have to su um, su suck it up and man up over that. No, we lost a great legend, but that was last time. So I bring you the 79th overall video podcast on PR Lost Galaxy 2014 presented by my self-devoted fan page on Facebook. The Power Rangers Los Galaxy fan film Facebook page and the Facebook um, group page for the fan film series stuff as well. If you have not checked out any of those, check them out now. The link is the links to all three of those is on the info description box and such. And if you have a Facebook um, profile, please follow me on those uh, following pages as well. Okay, so after I did a video yesterday on how much I felt about Robin Williams' death. I want to do a video response for the first time in a long time since I did a video response to anybody or did a commentary on uh, toward anyone. And this time, this is going to be a video response toward Julio Rodriguez, um, one of my biggest fans on this channel and such that follows me and likes my videos about Power Rangers as well, since I do videos about Power Rangers myself, but I have not done any fanfic videos like what he just started. Okay, so I came back watching this video this morning of one of his fanfics on one of the Megaforce characters, which, by the way, is Noah, the blue Megaforce slash Super Megaforce Ranger. And I have to say, I am really impressed with how he came up with the backstory to, for Noah and established about him being an outsider, you know, nerd that, you know, in which his family wouldn't accept. And um, he had a brother named Arthur, sorry, Arthur, Arthur, I said Arthur, I'm sorry, Arthur, Arthur sounds off, often a lot the same. Um, and the whole, you know, what happened to his supposedly lost brother um, being Argus, who is Prince, Prince Vekar's uh, confidants of the Armada and... You know, and also, I like the way how, um, um, Julio, I really like the way how you, um, establish the references, and I understand you want to do your fanfic stuff, uh, different from the, the actual source material of Power Rangers and as well as the Megaforce series overall, both regular and super seasons, and, uh, the whole idea of having Noah having, well, in fan ser in your fan series of Power Rangers, um, having a brother that was that disappeared or died and then comes back resurrected by some force of evil which is actually Bacar's is force of evil and um if only you know one of the things you never brought up was that um in your fanfic story um this would be a good time and would have been a good explanation as if um for the Megaforce series when Noah when when Noah joined the team of Megaforce um this would have been a good opportunity for you to make a reference to Gose Green. And you see, one of the things that, one of the characters that was missing in Power Rangers Megaforce that only appeared in that one episode of Gosager was Gose Green. Because you see, in Gosager, Gose Blue and Gose Green were brothers, but Gose Green only lasted for one episode. And he died, and then it was just only back to having Gose Blue again because he's part of the Seek tribe. Whereas, you know, you've, you know, seeing red and blue in the Sky Tribe and black and yellow in the Land Tribe and blue only in the Sea Tribe. You know, and also, before I get back to your response, to Julio, I also want to make a response to anyone who's watching this video as well. That for po when Power Ranger when Sabans decided to adapt Ghost Ager for Power Rangers Megaforce last year in 2013, and when I was looking back at Ghost Ager, since even though I have not watched that Sentai, but I've seen photos and seen toys and stuff of back in 2010, 2011, was that um, Ghost Green is a character that was sadly skipped. And due to the fact that as much as Saban wanted to bull rush uh, the series so they could get to Go Kyger for Super Mega Force, they could have at least had the advantage for at least to extend Super Mega, you know, to extend Mega Force for like 23 episodes and make the episode following going viral to feature the green Megaforce Ranger, a.k.a. Gose Green, but suppose if we had a character named Arthur, who is uh, um, the brother of Noah in Megaforce, and he lasted for one episode, but if I... Now, suppose if I did my own version of Power Rangers Megaforce, 
I would extend Ghost and Green's time into the Mega Force series for about ten episodes before I would decide of either one have him getting killed off, like what happened in that one episode of Ghost Ranger he appeared in, and or two have him like lose his powers just like the same way how Tommy lost his Green Ranger powers back in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season seasons one and early half of season two. Now that's what I would have done if I did my take on Power Rangers Mega Force, but keep the same Rangers like Troy, Gia, etc. But but the, the Gus and Green part, though, that should fill in there. If last year was the 20th anniversary of Power Rangers, why, did, why couldn't we have a Green Ranger to, you know, to make the, mighty, the, the Megaforce team like the Mighty Morphin team, but plus Robo Knight? Because I don't think Robo Knight should count as a Ranger because Robo Knight won't fit and work in that position, in that area, and knowing that he doesn't really fit there and just, like, you know, throw in... Um, the, the Green Ranger character, and, um, you know, because he would just work there in that fashion, and he would, and such, because, Ghost, because, sorry, because, what's his name, and I, um, I think the whole idea of having no one and Arthur as brothers would make some good sense, and this would fill in a potential slot to have Ghost and Green as the Green Megaforce Ranger come into the Megaforce. But if Saban wasn't so damn lazy to not include Ghost and Green into the Megaforce series, and um, that would have been in slight bitter potential. Plus, I also liked his idea of, uh, you know, at the end of the video when he brought up Argus, because, you know, as much as I uh, like his character in Megaforce, even though there's not much about his character, recently while watching Super Mega Force, the more times I've watched it, is that, um, what if Argus was Noah's lost brother? But you know, Super Mega Force is not going to say that, it's not going to make any explanations and also talk about the backstory of what happened to the Green Mega Force Ranger, which we never really got into the series, but yet only get in the Japanese series. That would slightly work. We would have at least got uh, the Green Ranger, and then have him being brainwashed, and then later, like, based on Julio's fan fiction here, the being brainwashed by the Armada and become Argus. Because I've noticed something since the episode Samurai Surprise, as featured from the screenshot feature of Argus being featured, is that, um, what if Argus and the Blue Ranger were brothers? And you know Saban is not going to fill in that, 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 um, void, because Argus is a villain. I mean, we, uh, well, we, well, we've already went through the, the, the whole sibling ranger villain angles before with uh, Andros and Corone and Power Rangers of Space and Dylan and Tanaya and RPM. Super Mega Force for Argus and Noah, I don't know how that would feel because Saban doesn't want to go with that angle because what already happened with that angle with Power Rangers of Space in the old Saban era worked for the better. And Disney, as much as I don't like RPM, with Dylan and Tanaya, it, it really wouldn't, it just didn't work for me with that there. That would have just made some good sense. Now, and like, suppose if I reworked Super Mega Force, uh, and did my own take on that story, like, well, actually not to steal Julio's ideas of the story and the backstory of Noah here, is that, um, what if I did the same thing about Argus? Or what if Princess Lavira was like Noah's sister or something, or something like that? Um, because what if we had a Blue Ranger? Um, well, well, hey, if we had a Red Ranger and a villainous uh, uh, sibling thing, and a Black Ranger and a villainous sibling thing, so why not a Blue Ranger and a villain villainess sibling thing? Because we want to see that, or I would like to see that, and Julio would like to see it. And then also the thing about RP, and then also the thing about uh, when he brought up and th speaking of RPM, he did bring up the Red RPM Ranger, which is Scott Truman, and thought about his uh, reflect, and also the reflection of how Scott felt about his brother Marcus, and the whole you know Scott not being accepted thing. Because I looked back at Scott's backstory after looking back at uh, the Ranger Red episode of RPM, and thought, well, yeah, that happened before, but what if this happened in Mega Force or Super Mega Force for Noah's characters? And I like, I like the jive that Julio is getting there with uh, his story on Backstory on Noah. And I also heard that on his channel, before if it gets totally knocked off by Saban with the copyright stuff, because as hard as this is going through, it seems like every time we post, if we post a video with a photo stilt or, a video, cl or video clips of Power Rangers, Saban's Power Rangers will 
flag every single one of our videos. Anyone who is a Power Rangers fan that has a channel with everything Power Rangers on it and some Sentai stuff, you know half of those videos won't be up there for long. And then Saban, I mean, the more Saban's Power Rangers and as well as Toei will flag the videos, our videos will get knocked off. Because I've already stated this a couple of videos ago, and we've already went through this. We went through this. I actually, I went through this via a discussion before, but I'm not going to talk about it again. And it's, it's hard to look back at how, how disgusting those content ID claims from Saban with this content being shown is really irritating. And, um, and uh, Julio, um, that, what you did right there was a great job establishing a, a fan-made backstory on Noah. And I really appreciate it. Now, it's like, the next thing you're going to know, the next thing you know, you're probably going to do another uh, backstory on another Megaforce character, even, uh, even though Troy, as much as his character sucks, how about you establish a backstory on his character? And probably make some critical reasons why Troy sucks as a Red Ranger, and uh, even though as much as people don't like his character, how about coming with a backstory um, of why he is a sore loser as a Red Ranger, and how boring he is, or something like that. Well, as much as I've heard so many responses about uh, from the fans saying, Troy sucks as a Red Ranger, he's bland, boring, and he looks like a wooden mannequin, blah. You know, those responses about Troy. Or how about, what if he makes the next fan the, the next Megaforce fan fiction of, what if, instead of having Troy as the Red Ranger, what if Orion was the Red Megaforce, the Super Megaforce Ranger, and Troy was the Silver Ranger, despite his wooden acting? Now that would be great, despite the fact that people, despite the fact that as much people tend to cringe over Megaforce and Super Megaforce currently, well the season is about to come to an end soon, well even though we're not close to the Legendary Battle just yet though and all, but what if Orion was the Red Ranger instead of Troy? Now just think about that. Because as, as much as we don't like, as much as people don't like Troy and his character, or not even his actor Andrew Gray and all, but what if that worked from the beginning of Megaforce? If we had Cameron Jibo at the time, instead of having them up to this point with Super Megaforce, that would have did some good justice right there. That would have worked with Orion being the Red Ranger instead of Troy. And I bet um, for Julio's his next um, fan fiction videos on Power Rangers Megaforce, he's probably going to do... Well, who knows what, what Ranger he's going to do next. And uh, um, Julio, I have to say, as I end this video, great job on the fan fiction. Keep it up, the good work. And um, once when I do my fan fiction videos of Power Rangers, it's probably going to be toys or some sort of fan art, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do with my fan fiction videos of Power Rangers once when I do those. And, um... But... If I did a fan fic, if I did a fan fiction video of Power Rangers Megaforce, Super Megaforce at least, um, I would do a video about the Red Rangers versus all the legendary Red Rangers versus Troy, because as much as the fans hate Troy, how about the past nineteen Red Rangers team up together to take down Troy and make, um, or actually have the spirits of the past Red Rangers, Mighty Morphin Zeo, Turbo, Onward Red Rangers, all the way to Samurai to attack Troy, a.k.a. the Megaforce Red, or and or, or, in, or at least Super Megaforce Red, because as much as n people don't like Troy's regular Megaforce uniform, his Super Mega uniform still looks pretty cool, because the whole Captain Marvelous uh, thing. Just think about it. Because Troy sucks as a Red Ranger. Now, once we get every single uh, legendary Red Ranger toy from the Super Megaforce toy line, from Mighty Morphin all the way to Samurai, um, and when I get the 5-inch Megaforce Red Ranger figure, I'm going to do a video like that. And then also make, you know, go like what Super Megaforce is going with. No explanations of why Troy sucks as a Red Ranger, and why and such and such of his character and things. Because it's, it's really stupid. And knowing that, and then when I have all those other Red Rangers together, um, I'm going to have Mighty Morphin Red said that, uh, say, like, um, you'll never be a better Red Ranger, you freaking rookie. I'm, I will always be the best. I'm the legendary, I'm the most legendary out of all Red Rangers. That would be Jason saying. 
or Jaden, uh, whatever he'll say, and things like that. And Troy will be just being blankless and emotionless when he expresses, you know, express how much his character will suck. And yeah, that will be the kind of Power Rangers Mega Force fanfic video I would do. It will be a Red Ranger Battle Royale, and it will be like every single Red Ranger before Troy versus Troy himself. And that would be a freaking awesome thing for me to do if I did a Power Rangers Mega Force fan fiction video. And that video would probably get over like a gazillion views for anyone who is who is a Mega Force hater but a legendary Ranger season lover. Because that would be a good thing for me to do for another video. Actually, let me think about that. I think next year when Dino Charge begins or before when Dino Charge begins for the late half of the 20th anniversary celebration of Power Rangers, that's what I might do. Actually, it will be more like a, a small video parody of how much people hate Troy, but yet everybody likes all the other Red Rangers. Jason, Wes, Leo, Andros, Tommy, um, Casey, and several other Red Rangers, to name a few, uh, of the first 19 before Troy, which counted him as 20. You know, I might do that. Once when I get every single Red Ranger figure from Mighty Morphin to Samurai plus Mega Force, I will do a video about Troy and how much he sucks as a Red Ranger, where every other Red Ranger before him, like I said, for like I guess the fifth time already, that those Red Rangers are better than Troy. I still like, well, I like the Troy last season. This season, he sucks. He's really starting. I just caught on to why he sucks as a Red Ranger. Just, I was so blinded for, the, for this last year that I thought Troy was going to be a good Red Ranger. And from what we saw in Mega Mission, we thought he was going to be all that good compared to the previous Red Rangers. And I thought, since we're in the Neo Saban, Nickelodeon era of Power Rangers, I thought Troy would do better than Jaden as, as, much, as, I don't, as much as I don't like Jaden from Samurai. I thought he would do good as a Red Ranger than Jaden would be in this era of Power Rangers. But I realized, as when I look at Jaden's character, I'm like, well, even though I hate him, Jaden and Troy are two of the worst Red Rangers I have seen since Mac from Operation Overdrive. And if anyone's a Wild Force lover here, Cole from, from Wild Force is the Red Ranger. Enough said, just saying. But you just went until I do a fanfic video about Power Rangers... Well, mainly Red Rangers only. So, Julio, like I said, keep up the good work with your fanfic videos of Power Rangers. And I also heard you doing, you're going to do fanfics of Kamen Rider and other stuff to name a few. And why not do some fanfic videos of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I would love to see those as well. So, anyway, this concludes my video response to Julio Rodriguez. And as well as my plans on Power Ranger fanfic videos uh, for a little bit. And um, this is Anthony Marsh Jr. again on PR Lost Galaxy 2014. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And this discussion on Terra Adventures Conference Hall is now over.